Happy Friday, my beautiful people. Happy Friday, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. Right before we get into today's topic, I want to let you all know that my book is coming out um, next month. The release date is December the 12th. So please um, go ahead and support the book. Specifically, if you are in real estate, if you're thinking about selling your home, if you're thinking about investing, if you're a real estate agent, you definitely have to have the book. We use this book. My team has used this book to, to, to close $30 million in sales in the year 2022. So you definitely want to know all those tips, tricks. We've spent quite a bit of time on this, uh, on this book. So you definitely want to go ahead and support uh, support this book as it comes out. What are we talking about today, my beautiful people? Wonderful, wonderful question. You are a superhero. I'll wait. You probably don't believe me, right? You are a superhero. You have superpowers. Absolutely. You have superpowers. You don't believe me? You only think Superman has superpowers? You think Thor has superpowers? First and foremost, these were all characters created off of our people, X-Men, right? The creators of X-Men, just a little interesting piece of information, the creators of X-Men actually created uh, uh, X-Men, Professor X and uh, Magneto are the characters of the, 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 the late Malcolm X and the, the, the great Dr. King. These are not my words. These are the creators. But you are a superhero. You have a superpower. Now, the reason why you don't realize you have a superpower is because you put superpower as a thing where flying is a superpower. Uh, if you can fire coming out of your eyes is a superpower. What about the ability to speak like this and to communicate ideas to change people's lives? That's a superpower. Some of you are able to look at a thing, a picture, and you can repaint that picture just from your mind. You have a superpower. Have you read Frederick Douglass July the 4th speech? This man has a superpower. And why do I say this? Each and every one of you have a superpower. The only thing about your superpower is you diminish it. I'm a superhero. I know that. The ability to communicate like this is a superhero's power. I'm a superman. Right? Now, some people are going to hear this and they're going to say, man, this guy is, uh, uh, what about his ego? He has a huge ego. This is my superpower. I make no apologies for this. You can call me whatever name you like. And here's the thing. If I or you don't believe in yourself, in your powers, your God-given talent and abilities, who will? If you have to always downplay yourself to one, feel comfortable, and two, to make everyone around you feel comfortable, when will you ever ascend to the highest levels of yourself? No, if I say I have a superpower, people will think I'm being arrogant. I have a superpower. You are looking at a superhero, period, point blank. I make zero excuses for that. I make no apologies for that. Let me just say this. The creator created you. Whether you are Christian, whether you are atheist, it doesn't matter to me. This is not that type of conversation. You do realize there is a superpower. This superpower, they've done studies. Everything that is in the cosmos 
Everything that is in outer space is also inside of you. That stuff. As you look up at the night sky and you marvel at the night sky and you marvel at the things that create the night sky, those very things are inside of you. So as you're marveling at the night sky, you unknowingly are marveling at yourself. You are a superhero. Some of you can pick up a microphone and begin to sing and can bring the whole house down. Can move people to tears. Isn't that a superpower? Some of you are so incredible with budgeting and financing. If you have a plan and idea, you can budget and finance, to, finance it to the very end. Isn't that a superpower? Some of you have a superpower where you can sit and read a whole book in an hour, in, I mean, in, in a day, excuse me. Where you can retain the entire pieces of information. I'm one of those people. Also, I can read and retain everything I read. You, my friend, are a superhero. What would your life look like if you saw yourself as a superhero? On the same level, if not greater than a superman. Right? I'm, I'm above a Superman. I'm above an X-Man. Right? Because I'm the living, walking, talking Superman. You can see me and touch me. What would your life look like if you saw yourself as a superhero? Why do you think they create superheroes? They create superheroes so you can have something to look up to. What about if you were the person that you looked up to? When you had an idea, you said, I'm a superhero. If anyone can do this, it's me. I'm doing things in my business that people marvel at. That people come up to me and they ask me, Max, how in the hell are you guys doing this in such a short period of time? And I laugh inside and I want to say because I'm a superhero. What do you mean? Have you ever seen Superman flying into a situation like that? He gets the situation handled. I'm a superhero, baby. And so are you. What is your superpower? Stop trying to conform to everyone else and figure out what your superpower is. Horn that energy and I guarantee you that superpower will change your life forever. Get around another person that has another superpower. Boom. This is what they mean. You don't have to get spiritual where two or three are gathered. You create a third super mind. This is why they keep having masterminds all over the place. It's the concept of where two superheroes get together. A third super mind is, uh, 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 is created. Guys. What is your superpower? Because my friend, if no one else is going to be bold enough to tell you, you are a superhero. And as a superhero, you have the responsibility of being and doing great things in your life. You're a superhero. You know me. Happy, happy Friday. I shine light in every dark corner. Happy Friday. Make sure you keep your eye out for my book when it's released on December the 12th. I'll see you Monday morning, bright and early.